Welcome to the RBC morning service as we come to worship God today on uh, Pentecost Sunday, this very special day that was foretold for us in the Bible in the book of Joel, Joel chapter 2. Uh, God said this is what would happen. He said, and afterward, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams, and your young men will see visions. Even on, your, on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my Spirit in those days. And I will show wonders in the heavens and on earth, and blood and fire and billows of smoke. And the sun will be turned to darkness, and the moon to blood, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Let us pray. Oh, our wonderful God, we thank you for this incredible promise that if we will call on your name, you will save us. Today we come as your people at RBC to worship you, to call on your name, to pray to you, to sing, to adore you, to listen to your word. Oh, Holy Spirit, speak to us. Speak deep to our hearts, to our minds. Make us to be willing people of yours to glorify you in these days, that when that dark and difficult day comes, we may be ready. Even as we go through these challenging days right now, meet with us even today in this service, we pray. Amen. Amen, and a great opportunity to welcome you to the Sunday morning service on the 31st of May 2020 as we come to adore our God together and it's a special time if you're new to this channel welcome and maybe let us know that you're listening in write to us it would be great to hear from you you can write to Pastor D I'm Daryl D RBC the church RBC 80 that's 80 for the number of years we've been around almost and that's at gmail at gmail.com so write to us it would be great to hear from you and to keep in touch if you need spiritual help do make contact as well and we'd love to assist you as we're able god bless you there so just as we talk about welcome uh it's good to share in this time maybe uh, the first announcement today uh we are continuing with our zoom service but we've been given permission to open up to 50 people and we've discussed this extensively uh, and we just feel that at this stage it's prudent not to open uh, on the 7th of, of July, uh, June. And so we'll be monitoring the situation, keeping you informed. Uh, we'll probably, as we go forward, have to look at ways to continue with both the YouTube services, the, U, uh, the, the different Zoom services, etc. But we want to be considerate of the preciousness of others. We want to care for the vulnerable in particular. And so at this stage, we just sense God leading us not to open yet. And we're going to keep putting uh, practices and procedures in place that we might be ready to open to worship. So this time of being together will continue for the foreseeable future on Zoom as we worship God together. So that's the first announcement. And I know some of you may be disappointed, but let's trust the Lord and let's find ways to reach out. The second thing uh, today has been called as a National Day of Prayer by our state president. And I want to encourage you, hopefully you've got uh, from the office, the, the prayer guide from the Baptist Union, to use that through this day, to pray for our country, for the crisis that we're going through, through this terrible disaster, for the economy, for yourselves, for our families, for the medical staff, and all of those things, to use that prayer prompt. And then we want to invite you. This afternoon at, well, evening, six o'clock, just as the sun goes down for just 30 minutes, we want to pray together as many as can on the Zoom. And the links are in the bulletin there for you. You can get those links and join us as we pray together. I'd encourage you to prepare just a brief uh, prayer. Maybe pick something that you would like to pick up on and pray for. And we each one try and just pray maybe even a minute. If there's 20 of us or so, or maybe we'll each one be able to pray that half an hour up quickly. So uh, think through your prayers, prepare for that, and join us on the Zoom prayer meeting this afternoon, evening at 6 o'clock. 
Then the next thing is next week. Another announcement next week is communion. Again, we want to have a, a Zoom service after the service at 10.30. So why don't you uh, pray, prepare your heart to be clean, your mind, uh, come with clean hands and bring something to drink and eat. Maybe you can have some bread and break it together as a family and share it out among the family members. Maybe you can take some of the, the juice and drink it together. Uh, get some nice goblets if you've got and then share that time together. But remember that this is a time to remember that we are joined together with the worldwide body of Christ. Most of us around the world are limited to our homes, some gathering now in smaller groups, but this is an opportunity to again have communion together, but we'll do it on Zoom. And then at the end, God willing, we can have an opportunity for testimonies. And again, prepare, watch for what God is doing in your life to give God the glory as you share that with others and you testify to him. Then the last thing that I wanted to announce at this time is about the finances of our church. You'll know I mentioned earlier on this month that our previous month, the finances were one sixth down on budget. And that's a, a concern. But so pray for that. But as God has blessed you, maybe your employer has still been able to pay you fully. Uh, give that 10 percent, that tithe. Give more if you're able to uh, give that faith promise giving. Don't forget our missionaries. And also remember to give uh, as you have been blessed, even to benevolence, uh, this coming Monday, another delivery is going out to over 50 families. Uh, we estimate about 60 families at this stage uh, that we're going out. And so that's going out as well this coming Monday. Then I must say, if you can't make an ele ele electronic fund transfer, an EFT to our church bank account, then please, if you've got cash, Call one of the elders or deacons. They can come past, pick it up from you, or you can drop it off at their place. But won't you let that money come in to the Lord? Let the Lord be able to use that in his church to his glory at this time, and that we might meet our commitments as a church together. And so this is a challenging time, but God bless you as you give. And so I want to encourage you to sing with. Uh, I know to overcome that uh, embarrassment, but remember, you're not singing for your family sitting next to you. You're singing for the Lord. Sing from the heart and overcome that embarrassment and sing to him who alone is worthy of all our praise. For there is only one that is worthy of worship in this whole universe. And that's our creator God revealed in Jesus Christ, who has poured out his spirit upon us, immersed us in his self, in himself and blessed us. As we read in Joel here, I will pour out my spirit. May God's Spirit be poured out on you today. God bless you. Amen.